Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 48. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join our team, there is the link down below. Last time I finished the cutting of the main structural tube for the front axle, as you can see over here. I already have it here situated the way it will go together. The flange, the differential, the steering mounting point, and the last tube where is the uh, locker uh, which will disengage and engage the motor. Here are also the shafts, the original shafts which need to be modified and these gears we are going to put, one of them we are going to put on the spline of the front axle. That's the thing we are going to do first and then we will check if the differential actually works with the front axle. Okay guys, you can see the gears over here, the difference here. This one is from uh, uh, open differential, which was originally for this front axle. And this one is from, uh, this one is from the rear differential. Uh, we are going to use now. We are going to put it there. The rest of this is the same. Just this gear is the difference. If you change it, you can, you can put the lockable differential for the front axle. And I put some shims over here. And uh, what is the English name for this? This ring, a lockable ring, we are going to lock it into the position. And now I'm going to check if the differential really locks and works properly with the front axle. You can see two shafts over here. This one is originally uh, for the rear axle. This one is originally for the front axle. We are going to cut it uh, somewhere here because we need only a little piece. So we will cut it somewhere here and we'll use only this piece. And from this another, another shaft, we are going to cut something like this and we'll we will weld those two pieces together. So it will be a really short. Uh, I'm going to 
put this shaft into the differential and try to spin it and check if the differential works properly. The second end will not fit over there because it has different di uh, diameter. So I will just spin the T case uh, all around and put it into this hole. We are not going to use it normally, but because it's bigger, it will fit there. I will have it leveled and we will see if it works properly or not. So it's spinning both, both wheels this way. It looks like it's locked all the time. So I don't know what is happening. If this kind of differential is kind of like reacting different way than any other differential, then the normal differentials we know in most of the trucks. Let me check something. It almost looks like I messed up. Okay guys, I made some phone calls about this differential and uh, they say that there is not simply enough resistance and that differential is simply holding that. So, but if we uh, hold the wheels, it should probably act properly as open differential. I will have somebody here in uh, about an hour and we'll take a look closer. One hour later. Hey guys, check this out. About an hour later and three more people, we finally figured it out. I managed to mess up this distance. I actually need to cut the flange a little bit further to get the differential closer to the axle. It's working, take a look. Now it's open. This one stays, that one is turning. Now we lock it. And it's locked. It's working. More cutting, more grinding, but I am happy. I will tell you what is waiting for us uh, next time. It will be uh, roughly like this, the first half of the truck, and uh, actually the second half will be the same. We are going to weld, I'm going to cut that flange over here, a little bit shorter, 
and we are going to weld all these one, two, three, four pieces together. Then I am going to work on suspension. We have the steering rods over here going to the steering arms on both sides. And when you steer the wheels, it takes pretty much all this space over here I need to keep for, uh, for this rod to play. But above that I will somehow make the brackets and uh, I will use this part which is for a rear suspension of the same Tatra. I'm going to modify it because it's easier. And uh, originally there was one uh, airbag over here and one airbag over there. We are going to use only one airbag for front suspension and I'm going to keep the shock over here and we somehow will situate it the suspension this way and it's probably will be cool so it will be probably good if we keep it exposed. Obviously the same on another side then I have to deal also with the space issues here because here is the anchor point for the hydraulic ram over here for the steering so we need to put it there. I will probably cut this part somehow because here is where the steering box is connected. This one. So obviously I will need space over here and I also need to put that steering box somewhere here too. And uh, so uh, I will have to probably make some kind of structure over here, custom one, and it will be time consuming again. And uh, if I have enough room over here, which I don't expect, I would, maybe I do, I will put the Tesla motor over here and there will be probably some kind of shaft that will go. <laughs> I put, it, uh, I put this transfer case opposite way. Okay, <laughs> now I can see that. This will go here, obviously. So I will put the Tesla motor, I will connect it to the over here because it will be opposite direction. So this is it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you would like to support me and help me with this build, you can do that through PayPal and uh, through Patreon. The links are down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.